Hi, welcome to DynaJet. Today we're going to be installing a Power Commander 5 with fuel and ignition control on this 2013 Polaris Ranger XP900. To perform this installation, we can access all of our connections just by simply lifting the cargo bed. The first connection we'll come to is our coil connectors. Our coil pack is located just in front of the air box on the forward driver's side section of the engine compartment. We're going to take the power commander leads with the blue and green wires and we're going to plug those in line with the stock coil connector. Now that the power commander is plugged in line with the coil, we're going to secure the ground wire of the power commander harness with the 6 millimeter ring lug to the coil bracket bolt right here. After cleaning the area with the supplied alcohol swab, we're going to use the supplied 3M dual lock Velcro strip to secure the module to this panel right here above the ignition coil. Now that we have the module secured, the connect coil connections made and the unit grounded, we're going to come to our throttle body servo motor here and we'll unplug the main wiring harness from it. We're going to attach the gray wire from the Power Commander wiring harness to the solid green wire of the throttle body connector. This is a solid green wire, no tracer, and it'll be on pin number one of the throttle body connector. We're going to take the posi tap and we will put the solid green wire through the slot and the gray nut of the posi tap. We'll then thread the pointed end of the posi tap onto the gray nut. Then remove the red nut of the posi tap. Slide it over the gray wire of the power commander. Insert the gray wire into the posi tap and thread the nut down on top of it. Once that's done, we'll plug the stock connector back on to the throttle body servo. Next, we'll come to our fuel injector connectors. We're going to plug our power commander injector leads with the orange colored wires in line with the left fuel injector. And we'll plug the pair of Power Commander leads with the yellow colored wires in line with the right fuel injector. Our final connection we'll come to is to the vehicle's crank position sensor connectors. You can trace the wire coming out of the right hand side engine cover to a black three pin connector on the right hand side of the gearbox. We're going to unplug these crank position sensor connectors and we'll plug our Power Commander 5 in line with them. And that completes the installation of the Power Commander 5 and all that's left to do now is close the cargo bed.